Hello YouTube, how y'all doing today? It's your boy Aries the Ruler, back with another video in our house system series. Um, one thing I wanted to briefly touch on real quick that I didn't mention in the last video um, about the first house was um, the different types of houses. Like um, how I was saying in the original house series video, um, house system video that like they're broken down into three quadrants. So you have your angular houses, your succeeded houses and your cadent houses. The first house is an angular house. The cardinal signs basically rule the angular houses. And then we have our succeeded houses, which are ruled by our fixed energy. And then your cadent houses are ruled by your mutable energy. So um, today we're gonna get into the succeeding house, which is the second house. Um, the second house of values and material, well, material possessions and values. Um, the second house basically um so the second house is ruled by taurus um second house is actually it's ruled by venus uh, but the planet ruler i guess is taurus you could say um this is a house that is like kind of governing our um luck things like that um material values what we place stock in how we use the money we make not necessarily what we're gonna do to make that money um and also just your core values um so like i said before this is a succeeding house because this is a house that follows a an angular house so um a lot of these all these houses are tied in together and they go in like um they go in order basically so um the first house is all about your identity and things like that um your identity your appearance your mannerisms your approach to life and things like that and then the second house is your values, basically what you value about your identity. So think of it like this. You're born into this world and you're getting to basically show the world who you are. The next step in that process is basically like, OK, now what do I like? As I'm growing into this world, I'm like, oh, I like this. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I value this. Oh, I don't value this. So um, yeah, like I said, this is a house of Taurus ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of wealth beauty luck um this is a house of material possessions things you value things like that um not all of these are like obviously material possessions they could just be things that you own um it could be like possession over like your values things like that like things that you just place to the core because remember i said the first six planets are your inner planet so this is kind of shaping who you are and like what you are presenting to the world what you are basically gonna it's, it's essentially setting the blueprint the blueprint for your life so um like i said it's not all about material possessions not all about material values things like that you could be somebody that's like a social justice warrior for example and you value like social inequality you know you got people that take black lives not say that not seriously like you got people that are very serious about like black lives matter women's rights um Ill, like immigration issues things like that um you have some people that value like spirituality for example some people that place value into like athletics um just whatever like i said you really value um the second house is like one of the main reasons why you value what you value um it also kind of is the house that kind of shows you like what you want out of life and what kind of comes from this house um for example you could want like luxury um based on like the obviously the planet the planets and the sign that you have in this house it could determine whether you want like luxury whether you want some somebody that just wants like wealth stability somebody that wants like love and harmony around them somebody that values like intellect um things like that um some people could be obsessed with status just you know like i said whatever it is that you want out of life again your second house kind of governs that um so like i said um it's not about how much you're gonna make um because no no house or anything or any sign is gonna just determine oh you have this or you're gonna be a millionaire it just kind of shows you the drive that you have the the personality and the characteristics you have to kind of push towards the things you want because we all want different things in life there's they say 8 billion people in the world no two people are alike so it's impossible for like there to be fixed signs or fixed placements that like this means that for everybody because we're all different so um like i said it doesn't govern how much you'll make but more so how you value that money and what you'll do with that money so um for example like i have virgo in the second house um and i have a uh, my north node is in virgo in the second house so the north node is basically 
the things in this life that you need to master that you didn't master in your last life. Um, so for me, like I have very Virgoian like ways that I go about my values and possessions. I'm very practical. Virgo is the sign of like practicality. Um, Virgo people are very perfectionist. They don't like to make mistakes. They are very like analytical, like to talk a lot um, and things like that. It's one of the Mercury rule signs. Um, so like, or it is, I, I believe it's one of the Mercury rule signs. Don't don't quote me on that. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so like I said, I have Virgo in the second house. So I value practicality. I value jobs that have stability that I know for sure I'm gonna make this and um, I don't, I'm somebody, if you know me in real life, if you've been to my house, if you see the way I dress, I'm very simplistic, very like, I don't, I told somebody, I told one of my friends at work yesterday, I am not a minimalist. Um, I hate that I used to speak that against myself, all myself I meant, because I'm not a minimalist, I'm more of a practicalist. I'm not somebody that just blows money on things just because I got money. Like anything I spend money on is something I've deeply thought about, made sure it's something that like, oh, okay, I want to do that and then I go do it. Um, I may I work jobs that rec that basically finance the lifestyle that I want. I wouldn't work at a job that's financing a lifestyle I can't afford and things like that. Or also a job that like doesn't align with my values too. Like um, this is something I kind of had to learn, which is why I, like North Node and Virgo in this house is pretty cool. Cause um, growing up I used to just work odd jobs. I used to just work all type of retail jobs I didn't like and things like that. And I would say like the last couple jobs I've had now uh, not to make it about me, but like, if I don't value the place or it doesn't align with my values, I will not work there or I will not stay. So um, another, a couple more examples, just not to talk about myself. You could have Sagittarius in this house, for example. You could be somebody that values like new things. Sagittarius is a very, it's a fire sign, so spontaneous. They always value travel, new experiences, things like that. Um, you could have Aquarius in this house, for example. And you could be somebody who values like creative pursuits over money. So like, these are the people that, work and like for example i wanted to work not me but like i know people that wanted to work at radio stations and things like that and i mean to start off in a radio station it doesn't really pay much um but like it taps into that creative side or like somebody that wants to do creative things and like the money is like the long-term payoff or like it'll come but like you truly value like artistic like expression and things like that um like I said, um, this house also values your self-worth and things you look at for fulfillment. So, um, like I said, people that like are very spiritual, for example, will have like maybe what's a really spiritual sign you could think of? Like, shoot, I don't even know right now, to be honest, um, not off the top of my head. But like, like I said, you could value um, family in this house. Like if you are like a cancer in this house or something or like. You could value just like, like I said, if you have Aquarius in this house, you could value creative pursuits. Um, same with Gemini. Um, if you have like sun in this house, you get to be somebody who really values your ego. Like, you know, it's just whatever's in this house, um, it amplifies that. Not to say that is exactly what it is, but like if you ever wonder why like, oh, I'm like this or why do I care so much about this? Go look into what you have in that house because um, usually that's what it is. Um, talent again is another thing you could value so like if you're somebody that for example makes music or something you're only you're not only going to do that but you're going to pursue a lot of jobs that can help you build your music career you're going to put yourself around situations that build your music career so like you could work at a radio station you could be somebody who works in a music studio you could be somebody who works in an art studio um you could work around children if you value like family and things like that like it's the spectrum is huge as far as like the second house goes um Okay, so like another big thing in this house, so like your needs, your wants, um, and your feelings are kind of developed here too. Because like I said, think of yourself as a baby. This is your second house. It's really your first true year of life. Like zero through the first house, well, the first house is eight, when you're born up until you turn one. One is kind of like the start of like everything really. So like how you, things you get angry at, things you like as a kid that you're fed or whatever, and you realize like, oh, this is what I want. Like, um, it's kind of developed here. And your feelings also develop here too. So like, think of like, when you were a kid and your parents took things away from you and you got mad or like, you didn't get mad. That's like shaping up, excuse me. That's like shaping up your values, um, basically for your life. Um, 
And so, like I said, without identity, it's kind of hard to find value. So like I was saying before, um, all these houses are tied in together, tied in together. Um, this is a succeeding house, so it follows your identity. If you don't have your identity formed in your first house, your values are gonna also not really make a lot of sense to you in life. And again, like I said, just cause you pass your second house year doesn't mean you can't still develop your, your values. Cause as the planets are always moving, you could be in a second house year, or you could be in a fifth house year, but Saturn could be transiting your second house and then it makes you realize, oh wow, like it took me long enough to realize this is what I need to value. Cause Saturn is the planet of time and all that, like um, discipline, whatever, whatever. Um, so like I said, without identity, it's hard to find value. Um, so always make sure like you're constantly learning about yourself, constantly taking care of yourself. She's mine. <laughs> Shout out J. Cole. Um, yeah, and this house also represents like family values as well. So um, a lot of the things that you're taught growing up as far as like your family lineage, like what your family does is gonna be in here too. So like if you come from a religious family, like you're gonna go to church, you're gonna value God, spirituality, to whatever degree like i come from a well growing up i didn't I don't say i came from a family from church but like my immediate family like my brothers my mom whatever we went to church growing up so like that's something that i valued like growing up um going to church my relationship with god um being kind to people understanding like niceness and things like that um you could come from a family of money and y'all could just value like hard work y'all could value like businesses um come from a family of athletes like you all take sports very seriously like i come from a lineage of track athletes every single person in my family ran track i'm talking down to my grandparents my parents my cousins my brothers my stepsisters even to a degree it's not immediately a family but it's like anybody that's been in my family ran track that's just what we do um or you can have bad history too like if you come from a family history of like drugs for example you can have aunts and uncles that are like unfortunately addicted to drugs and that could like rub off on people in your family like drinking issues hardcore drugs softcore drugs prescription drugs like all of that like is tied into the second house um and um yeah that's kind of that all i had to say right now um like i said the second house house of taurus is ruled by your material possessions and values so everything that you kind of take seriously in this life or you want in this life ties back into your second house so um if you made it this far i really appreciate you i really appreciate like i i'm not gonna lie the other day i had like nine views on my video i woke up this morning and had like almost 40 views and i was like wow like people starting to like really appreciate things like this so i just want to say thank you to everybody that's watching this um like i said if you made it this far i really appreciate you um like i said i'm gonna keep these videos coming out as quick as possible i'm literally making this right before i have to go to work right now i'm about to walk to work and get my um sunlight in or whatever um but yeah, I appreciate you. Um, and until next time, adios.